Hello everybody, it's Anir, Engineer, MBA, and Investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about bio nanogenomics. I want to talk about the latest news about this company. And I want to point out some details that I found recently on this company. Now, before we do that, guys, before we dive deep in today's video and about the company, I do want to ask you guys to like this video, smash that like button, destroy that like button. You guys know how the YouTube algorithms work. It's just underneath this channel. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. So like this video, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Really does help the channel, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And if you have any comment, input, feedback about this video, about this company, about the space and genomics, leave me a comment below. Lots of exciting things going on in this space. So before we even jump into this video, one more point here is I am still on the road. That's why the setting here is different. So hopefully you guys don't mind doing my best here to deliver you guys content for free. And it's a beautiful Sunday out there. So I really wanted to to record a, a video for you guys and specifically record a, this company for you guys. Now, what I do want to mention, what I do want to mention is why I'm talking about this company, right? And the reason why I'm talking about this company in today's video is because of Dr. Dean, right? So everybody here, I think most of you follow Dr. Dean, uh, great YouTuber, great channel. I've actually started learning a lot more about genomics before I, I even made my, our own YouTube channel here. I used to watch his videos and I still do obviously subscribe I am and amazing videos and this latest video was sort of um, sort of pointing out that Simon from ARK Invest which is one of the ARK Invest analysts and ARK Invest as a whole they sort of you know missed out on BNGO right they're missing out on the company but they're not missing out on the idea of mapping right and I think whatever slide we're on right now, this uh, on this YouTube video, the at the third minute mark, really explains really well, right? And this actually comes from uh, the company's uh, investor presentation. And I, again, I've actually covered this company uh, back in June, and I had another video back in April. I'll link the video for June, but obviously, uh, lots of things happened since. And really, you know, the, the biggest bullish part of this company, you know, there are other bullish parts. We'll take a look at some of the bullish positive signs to up to, you know, to come for this company. But, you know, it's really the idea that, you know, the current, you know, status quo, quo like Illumina, which is obviously what companies think about when you think about mapping, they're looking at a one to 100 base pairs, right? When you talk about those sequences, sequencers. But for large structural variations, right, for SF, uh, SVS or whatever you want to call them, um, we're looking at very large, right? We're looking at hundreds of base pair to millions of base pair. And only Sapphire is what the company claims. Sapphire, which is one of the product lines of bio, uh, bio nanogenomics that can detect those, right? So already there you have like a gap, right? When it comes to mapping, genome mapping, you have hardware from other companies that are not able to detect what you can do. So you can you already have a competitive advantage, right? And I've already covered this te these technical details, like I said in our previous videos, in our channel. If you don't know, if you haven't watched those videos, please do go to my channel and watch it. Uh, just search for uh, BNGO, you'll find the video right away. So. Dr. Dean here talks about how obviously, you know, this is this is their bread and butter here, you know, why he believes, you know, this they, this company has a future. But more specifically, right, he, he's making a reference to what Simon from ARK Invest said. Still, there's an economic component given instrument costs and switching friction, right? So ARK Invest as a whole, they they have never added BNGO to their portfolios, whether that's ARK G fund or any of the their, their funds, and they haven't released any sort of relevant article on the company and most of the community on social media about the company, about BNGO, are very, very disappointed of that. I know that for a fact, although a lot of people don't want necessarily ARK Invest to get into it because, you know, you'll see the price shoot up and they'll miss out on the opportunities. The reality of the thing is that what ARK Invest is doing for genomics is an amazing thing. A lot of traditional investors, a lot of legacy investors are looking up for this company, for ARK Invest, to invest that's in the same companies that ARK Invest is doing, right? It's 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 a very mental thing. It's very psychology. It's it's uh, it makes sense, you know. It is what it is. It's like one of the biases, right? When someone does something, and you know, you really respect that person, you know, you may want to be le uh, more likely to do it, right? So whether that's investing in a company that you know one of your um, 
one one of the leaders in the space are doing you know it doesn't really change the narrative right but it is what it is i'm just stating the facts here so that was a response to simon here and dr dean here basically uh, illustrates a paper a paper that was really interesting and I, I saw that paper come in as well uh, and this was on 16 September, but most importantly, this paper says, we believe the combination of NGS and OGM is currently the most comprehensive and cost-effective analysis of the cancer genome, commented Eric Homlin, the CEO of this company, which we've actually covered again in our previous video. The study demonstrates the benefits of combining NGS and OGM data for discovery and translation research on cancer with the ability to de detect from one, kilo, uh, one base pair to one kilo base pair, uh, kilo base for measuring all classes of structural variants in an integrated approach. We believe this trend will continue across all clinical research application where the combination of NGS and OGM can provide greater insight for elevating human health and wellness. That's a beautiful way of stating it from the CEO. I love that. Very direct, very straightforward. Obviously, their mission statement is very clear there. So we'll jump here really quickly to their uh, presentation. And I didn't want to cover too much about this presentation because, again, I did that. And this is actually from January, so earlier this year, lots of things happened. But the base of their company really stays the same, right? There are some diseases that current status quo cannot detect. The sequencers, whatever you want to call them, cannot detect reliably. And then you have Sapphire from BNGO that can actually detect those. And then the company sort of promotes their hardware to be also a software company, right? And so they want to leverage themselves more than just a hardware company that license their hardware and sell their hardware directly to institutions, directly to healthcare institutions, facilities, and so on, but also build this SaaS environment, this, this data environment, right? Because they have the hardware, right? This is a beautiful thing, you know, in, in tech, when you own the hardware, you can do so much with the software and vice versa, right? You can see that happening with the iPhone from uh, iOS, obviously from Apple, but you can also see that with Tesla, right? Tesla, you know, many companies, many uh, car electrical vehicles, companies, and just companies, uh, car com legacy autos, right? They're having supply issues just like the rest of the world, but because of the supply issues, they haven't been able to deliver the best cars with the best quality while Tesla has been able to modify their t software to you know, sort of minimize the impact of supply issues. You know, I mean, they're still impacted, but because they own the software and the hardware, basically they own or are hoping to own the full stack of their whole product line, it sort of puts them in a competitive advantage, right? This is this is something that should not be overlooked. And that's exactly what I think bio nanogenomics are sort of structuring themselves to be. I love that. You guys know I'm a software engineer by heart, by tr trade, by profession. And to me to see that, uh, I think it's just amazing. The only thing I, I do want to mention, again, uh, just because we, I want to be in the same page, I want everybody to be on the same page, but for newer viewers and audience for this channel, since we've grown this channel so much since the last video on this company, is that their market opportunity, they're expecting it to be uh, almost $4 billion, right? Almost $4 billion per year, right? So on selling as many as 10,000 Sapphire system. And don't forget, guys, Sapphire system, you know, they can upgrade versions, they can upgrade the, the hardware, just like iPhone, just like electrical vehicles, just like Tesla Model 3s, you know, or the Model S, for example, Plaid. You know, these, you know, these are not, um, these are not uh, systems that you sell once and then that's it. You know, these are enterprise systems, these are big systems, lucrative contracts, there is maintenance, there's support agreements, potentially. A lot of money can be made, there is money there. Uh, and again, you know, the, the, the market is so big, you know, so vast, lots of total blood drifts, more markets. I don't think Illumina will be the only one here. You see some other names here, Pacific Bio, obviously, ARK Invest are really, really bullish on this company. But it doesn't have to be just Pacific Bio and Illumina. It could be Bio Nano and, you know, when you have the right leadership, when you have the right execution there, you can definitely penetrate and then expand, right? And a beautiful way of, of doing this here is showing you guys a little bit about some of the comments here. Um, most exciting thing about the product is beside, uh, beside the product is the executive team, the vision. There is no comparable team in the market to build the next big next genomics company. Um, there's another comment here. Perkin Elmer already appears to be using OGM to diagnose FSHD. So you see these big, big, big institutions already using um, some sort of OGM here that, you know, this company obviously benefits bio nanogenomics. And a couple of other notes here, if you take a look. Um, their representative recent conference is overwhelming. And I've seen this recent conference, like Bio, bio Nanogenomics, 
uh, their names from coming up. And that's how you sort of get your name out there, right? You get your name out there in conference and virtual trade shows at this point in 2021. Previously, it was in trade shows, and then you sort of get your name out there, you know, expose your company, expose your product lines, expose, you know, why your, your competitive advantage is significant for investors, and that's how you grow, you know. This is this is part of marketing, right? It's part of the business, right? Pilot, pilot program using software are well underway in Canada, UK, and multiple uh, major universities around, uh, uh, sorry, uh, university hospitals in Europe, right? So largest diagnostic lab in Canada p- p- uh, pilots, uh, BioNano Sapphire seeking to convert the 30 old workflow based on multiple technology into single high resolution assay to transform cancer diagnosis. This was in February earlier this year. So, all are obviously there are some legacy institutions there, especially in the healthcare facilities. You know, and because of the pandemic, because of what happened the past three years, we strongly believe, you know, governments, universities, hospitals, healthcare facilities, institutions. You know. Investors, private investors, public investors, retirement pension funds, all of those people, all of those entities will be looking into investing their assets into sort of revolutionary technologies. And genomics is definitely a technology sector that we believe has an enormous, enormous future. Uh, from all polls I've done, all polls I've seen, they, the genomics section is the biggest total blood risk market. And that's even higher than space and more than energy or digital consumers or goods or whatnot, right? So last point I wanted to make here um, is this is a nice talk to it here. They, they, I highly advise you guys to uh, use the site if you want to look for specific stock. Just to see the fields in, in, uh, about certain companies, you know, what they're saying about certain companies. Obviously, most of the time it's bullish people there, and that makes total sense. But, you know, obviously here, uh, messenger of Moistfield, this is Brennan, a huge, huge bull of BNGO. Uh, he's talking about, you know, the catalyst of the company, right? PLA Coast, Russell 3000, 2000, which they were added on already. Season team, obviously we've talked about Rich Shippy. Um, shout out to Rich Shippy, the cowboy there. Uh, EU, EU, EU accreditation, uh, lineage expansion, you know, Gene DX, you see animals, fish, cancer. CRISPR Therapeutics, you know, they, they had something with CRISPR Therapeutics or planning to do something with CRISPR Therapeutics. I believe this was in discussion. Maybe I'm wrong in this, but I remember reading something in this. Maybe it was just rumor, but uh, let me know if I'm wrong at that. Maybe, maybe let me know what, what they have with CRISPR Therapeutics. So lots of good points. They've actually already achieved. Uh, I love seeing green green checkbox. Because that means, you know, whatever was stated there was achieved. And th- these are lots of uh, 1,100 plus patients, software upgrades, in vitro fertilization, um, insider buyers, okay, monopoly, no direct competitors. We saw there is no direct competitors with the mapping business they're in. The com- the un- indirect competitors are the likes of Illumina and Pacific Biosciences, and they're not even covering the same um, base pair, kilo base pair that, you know, BNGO are doing. So basically they can detect, this company can detect large variants, structural variants, which other companies cannot do, or at least that's what's being claimed. That's what's in the market right now as we speak. Things can change really fast. But I love what this company is doing. Uh, again, I think this company has a future. I've covered this company in the past. Their stock, you know, sort of got tumbled a little bit in recent times. If you take a look at the past year to date, you know, they peaked to almost $16 a share, and they've been down well over 60% from their peak earlier this year, just like most genomics company, right? Most of the genomics company peaked earlier this year as well, but this company has been hit. Uh, but, 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 guys, this is where you as an investor, you have to look at the uh, the big picture, like right now, step back for a year. Look at this, you know, they went IPO and look at look at look at the stock price, guys. This is just crazy, right? This is just amazing, right? This is something you wanna consider, right? The market cap is about trading at 1.5 billion dollars. Uh, considering the market opportunity per year they have, and considering the fact they can also expand to other verticals uh, in mapping alone, right? Having more hardware lines, more product lines, more customers, more patients, more partnerships. You know, it's it's very a lucrative deal here. Uh, well, last note I wanted to make as well uh, is the fact they have three hundred dollars, uh, three and sorry, three hundred thirty-two million dollars of cash on hand, which means which means they're not really uh, close to bankruptcy, right? They have leverage there with money. Um, I don't know if I can find the operating income here. Oh yeah, here operating income for June. Uh, so we're looking at fiscal for Q2, you know, we're looking at operating income of a little bit shy of $20 million. So if you extrapolate those numbers, you know, they can go many quarters just burning money without making a single dollar. 
and I think they'll be fine. But obviously, that's not going to happen. They're definitely going to create more deals, more uh, increase their headcount, but cons consequently add more deals, more partnerships, sell more hardware, Sapphire systems, leverage their data platform. Like I said, I think that that will be the big, big, huge unlock. And if they can partner with these CRISPR companies, like we said, uh, I think it's just amazing. So I think this company is amazing, guys. The CEO is definitely an uh, interesting character. I've covered him in the previous video. Uh, Rich Shippy, the newest addition a few months ago. I think it was back in April like, or May. Uh, that person looks very, very cowboy style-like, which means, you know, gets the job done. Uh, but again, you know, time will tell. We'll see where this company goes. I'm highly interested in this company. I want to follow this company. In fact, I am going to follow this company just like what I just did now. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video. Do like this video if you did. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below, guys. Really curious to see what you guys think and about this company, about specific things I ch said. And I most likely missed a lot of things. Some of you are well more knowledgeable than I am. But I want to start this discussion for our viewers, for our audience, for our community, because we want to provide information for free. We want to help you, your friends, your family, investors. So do share this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Please do subscribe. Really just help the channel. I will end this video like this. Thank you so much, guys. It's a beautiful Sunday out there. Get some sunshine. It's, it's a long uh, weekend for some of you, I think. Uh, but do get some sunshine. It's beautiful out there. You know, it's a great time to get get some reading in, just like researching, just like what we're doing here. So we'll end this video like this. Uh, and again, sorry about the, the low production, um, different um, environment there. Again, I am on the road, but I will be back on uh, Tuesday night. So the next video with my normal will probably be back on Wednesday, but uh, I'll try to make another video like this to, to tomorrow or on Tuesday. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will see each other in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.